What's going on, No DQ Galaxy? We are the ladies of NoDQ.com. I'm your girl Cindy G here. I have the lovely Caitlin and Aaron with an E, y'all, not A A R O N. Yes. And today, yeah. <laughs> and People get it wrong all the time. I'm like, A is for a boy. Come on. Exactly. So, girl Aaron with an E, boy Aaron with an A. But that's not the case. Today's video, this is going to be the Twitch video for WWE Stopping Ground, which is going to take place this Sunday in Tacoma, Washington. Um, we'll just go ahead and go with our picks because this is just rematch mania from Money in the Bank, <laughs> past episode of Raw, SmackDown, and 205 Live, and of course, Blood Money, but I digress. Anyway, um, nine matches and no kickoff pre-show match, but... There has been some debate going on amongst the um, everybody from Team NoDQ.com to the NoDQ NXT, the 205 Life Matters Crew, and Team NDDQ. Um, to dedicate General Jerry Slaughter, which he did the Money in the Bank prediction video, he used a coin flip. So um, I'm going to say heads for the SmackDown Tag Team title match, tails for the triple threat match for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship match. So, Jerry, this is for you. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, we're going to talk about the triple threat match for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship match, which it's going to be in a kickoff pre-show. Will it be in a main card? Just like the bathroom break? I don't know. You know me and my cruiserweight. I'm not going to get into that. So the triple threat match for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship match will be the champ Tony Nese versus Akira Tozawa versus Drew Gulak. Um, I'm just going to say it real quick because I'm the only one that actually watches 205 Live. Um, so what happened is that last week's episode of 205 Live, which I was there live, um, it was the Fatal 4-Way match to determine the number one contendership for the Cruiserweight title match. And unfortunately, Drew Gulak and Akira Tozawa actually both pinned, but it was even determined who are the actual winner until this is before Drake Maverick won that freaking 24-7 championship. Glass is yeah. off. <laughs> that, um, he declared that he's making that match a triple threat match. Um, I have nothing else to see so far. I mean, I've seen matches before from Drew Gulak, Akira Tozawa, and Tony Nese, but I'm going to have to say this. I feel that we're probably going to see a new champ going on because that particular person not only appeared on 205 Live, but he did appear in a couple episodes of NXT. Recently, his, um, his match last week against Kushida, and with his new gimmick that is kind of like more dark and let's just say emo -y type. I'm going to go with Drew Gulag as new champ. Um, let's go ahead and start with you, Caitlin. Who you got? Um, since I don't watch, I'm not going to predict a title change. I'm just going to go the safe bet and stick with Tony Nese. Aaron? Me? First, I want to show you guys my notes. This is what <laughs> happens. Don't leave <laughs> hands yeah. out, guys. Um, I'm actually going to agree with Cindy. I picked Gulak, too. I uh, I don't watch, but I had no clue, so I was reading some other articles, and they all picked Gulak. Um, he's the only one out of the three who hasn't won a title yet, So, yeah. um, and he's been there since the beginning, so maybe it is time for him to win the title. I did see that some people were saying that, but I was like, hmm, I don't think so. So. Well, I didn't pick a ton of changes, so I had to get <laughs> well, one in there. So. That is true, I mean, also. Yeah. Because looking at each of the matches, it's like, okay, rematch, retain, rematch, retain, rematch, retain. Right. It's like, there's got yeah. a title switch. And I think this is like a perfect example. But regarding with whole 205 Live, because Drake Maverick is now the 24-7 champion. It's going to be a bigger, plays a bigger part for 205 Live regarding the GMO. But I'm going to say that later for Noah, the holiday, and possibly me for the upcoming episode of Hashtag 205 Live Matters when we're talking about our Simple Stance segment. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next match right here. So next up, it's going to be the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match between the current champ Daniel Bryan and Rowan versus Heavy Machinery, Otis and Tucker, a.k.a. 
Kentucky. Um, Caitlin, who do you got? Um, I'm going to go with Brian and Rowan to retain. I just think that I feel kind of bad because I feel like they're trying to build heavy machinery up, but I don't think it's time yet for them to lose the belts. And I don't know what Brian would be doing if they did. So I say they retain. <coughs> Aaron? I agree with Caitlin. Um, I just don't, I think Brian needs to have a belt on him, whether it's, you know, yeah. like the championship or the tag team titles. He needs to have some sort of belt on him. He needs to be able to, like, say what he needs to say. So I think Brian and Rowan are going to retain. Well, I'm going to agree with both of you. I'm going with Brian and Rowan to retain because, like everybody else, I feel that with Heavy Machinery, they're just a comedic ad. And plus, last week, this is the first time we've seen Heavy Machinery had a match, but it was an enhancement match against against these two local towns, which I personally know, but I digress. Uh -huh. And it was for, like, a mock title match for the Yolo County Tag Team Champion. Of course, Yolo. they won that Yep, and it's actually a county, y'all. I know where Yolo County is at. <laughs> I live, like, a couple minutes away from Yolo County, like, almost an hour, just saying. Oh, but I didn't know that was a real thing. I didn't either. I just <laughs> it is a real county, like, Marysville, Yuba City, Davis, Woodland, no way. and et cetera. But, yeah. I thought that was the only live ones to All right, then. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah. You see Davis, Yolo County. Just saying. <laughs> All righty. So. Geography lesson today. There we go. <laughs> yep. That's the exciting part than the pay-per-view itself. But <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Yeah, like, Brian and Rowan, they need to hold this title. And plus, I feel like with the SmackDown tag team title, it's being a little bit more hot potato going on. Unlike the United States um, championship match. But I digress. But speaking of which, let's go on and talk about that right now. United States Championship match between the current champ, Samoa Joe, versus Ricochet. Aaron, who you got? I don't know. This might be a crazy pick, but I picked Ricochet. Um, I don't think they wanted to have the title on Joe anyways since they put it on Ray and then he got hurt and then they kind of just gave it back to Joe because they didn't have anything else to do. So I think they're going to put it back on Ricochet. You say he's boring? No, I said that's a good point. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't think Joe's boring. No, <laughs> and, no. <laughs> uh, and I think Ricochet has been pushed pretty hard since he's come up. So I just think they are going to hot potato it again and put it back on somebody else. So Ricochet. Oh, Jesus. Let me go ahead and take a long sip of my <laughs> They hate Joe. I love Joe, but they seem to hate him. And he loses anything important and can't keep a title. So... That based on I, previous everything, I pick Ricochet. Well, I love Samoa Joe, but I hate the hot returning situation with the United States Championship belt. Like, what's going on? Like, are you freaking serious? This is like 2017 all over again. But with that being said, I feel this feud is going to be continued. They're just looking for Ricochet to have him better something to do in the meantime. So, therefore... This feud is going to continue. I'm going with Joe to retain the United States title. Caitlin, what about you? Um, well, Aaron changed my mind. <laughs> so this is the first time I've changed picks uh, uh, during a video. So I'm going to go with Ricochet. Write and that down, Noah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just didn't pick a lot of title changes, and I thought what you said made sense, so I'm going with it. All righty, so we had different picks. Not bad. All right, so we're going to move on to the next match, which it's going to be a tag team match between The New Day, which is Biggie and Xavier Woods, versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. We'll be freaking do. Get to right, see the again. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. I already seen the six-man tag match last week when I was there on SmackDown Live. It's like... Jesus. Like, literally, unless Big E decides that he is going to turn on Xavier and all three of them beat down Woods, I do not care about this match. Oh, that boy. would be the only way that would make me care. Exactly. So, easy pick for me. I'm going with the New Day. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Yeah. I actually went the opposite. I went Owens and uh, 
KL, or Owens and KL, same person. Owens <laughs> and uh, Sammy Zayn. I just think they need to win more. They've been beaten down so much. It'll be a much bigger pop for them to win. All right, Caitlin. I also went with Owens and Zayn. I just felt like um, Kofi probably, obviously, will win, and so I felt like the other half of them would lose. Um, yeah. And, and also that, you know, Zayn, people really like him, and so yeah, I like I'm what going he's been saying a lot. I agree. I mean, it's all curious to see like how they're gonna play out with these match orders in particular. Yeah. Uh, Funny thing is the order that you're doing them in right now is the order I wrote it, but I did, like when I looked at it, I was writing it in a random order from the the screen. So really? it's kind of funny that it's matching up. Wow. I hope, I hope it like starts out like this because I have boot camp and I'm gonna miss like the first hour. So I might be missing the beginning as well. I need I need Same. matches that I don't care about. Which I don't care about many of them yeah. to start off with. Like, if they start <laughs> Let's off be with, real. Like, we don't care about any of them. Exactly. Well, I mean, I like Rollins, so if I miss yeah. his match, I'll be kind of irritated. Yeah. And he tends to start out a lot, so that would be annoying. But true. true. I mean, I'll be missing like almost half the match since I got work, so eh, it doesn't oh. matter if the cruiserweight match. But oh well. But segue into the next match right here, so that we make sure it's short and sweet. The WWE SmackDown Women's Championship match between oh. Jit Cham, Bailey versus Alexa Bliss. Who do you got, Caitlin? Well, this one is one that I had to think about for a few minutes. Um, but again, I went with the safe road. I'm just going to say Bailey retains. Okay. I don't know. I mean, they've been putting Alexa out there a lot, but I just feel like no. And I don't want to go back to that either. So, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's all. Okay. (laughs) I also picked Bailey. I really don't want to see the title back on Alexa. She hasn't done anything with it the last couple times she's had it. Also, I wanted to point out, they keep talking about how Nikki Cross Mm -hmm. is going to be in Alexa's corner. Yeah. So either Nikki is going to turn on Alexa and help Bailey win, or I think Sasha Banks is going to show up. One or the other. Because Sasha, they said she was doing, like, video game work for the new WWE video game. So, I mean, if she's doing that, who's to say that she can't show up at Stomping Ground? How huge would that be if she popped up in Bailey's corner? I bet. I'm I'm picking Bailey. It it makes no sense for Bliss to have the title. She's on Raw. It just doesn't make sense. They need another big name on Raw besides Mm -hmm. Becky, and it makes more sense to keep Bliss there. Not that any of that matters currently. It's the <laughs> brand. You're right. It really doesn't. Bro. Split. Exactly. Like, I'm going to have to agree with you guys' both points for it. With Alexa Bliss, she is mainly on Raw, but like with the whole stupid wild card changes, it kind of yeah. screwed up with every opportunity, especially for most of the women's superstars. I'd rather see Ember Moon or Mandy Rose or hell, even Sonya Deville. 100% to keep people- agree. To compete the title against Bailey and with Nikki Cross, it's like I feel that we're probably gonna see some interference going on, but it may be gonna be like one of those short matches. Because keep in mind, how many times Alexa Bliss has been injured with a concussion? True. Do they really want to put the title back on her to just get maybe injured again? She's mm, barely right. wrestled in the last six exactly. months. Exactly. And yeah, she's that's always- why. There's no way. Yeah, there's no point of oh, it. Oh, there is a way. She's a well, pretty blonde. There's a big way. She might well, be champ good again. Point. I wouldn't but be surprised I, if we were all wrong on this. Well, that's true, yeah. too. Um, mm-hmm. But Sasha had tweeted um, a bunch of, like, cities the other day. Was mm-hmm. one of them, like, where they're at on Sunday? Or they're no? somewhere in Washington. So, like, Tacoma, Tacoma, maybe? Did she tweet that? Oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I, I don't remember, but it was, like, like six different cities and I assumed that was going to be like where she's going to be next but I didn't like look up if they coincided with yeah. anything or not exactly. so I don't know I don't know there's so many endless possibilities that's going to happen with that match but with that being said I feel this match is going to be short therefore I'm going with Bailey to retain a title alright retains me too me too all right, let's go ahead and move on to the next match. We have it's a singles match between the big dog, Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Um, 
let's go ahead and start off. Wait, who went last? Sorry, my mind has been a bit fizzled. I, think I, I feel like I went time. first a lot. I think yeah, I go ahead. First this time. Go sure. ahead, Eric. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, Roman. I I can't pick against Roman. Two times in a row is Roman really gonna lose? I I just can't see it. So I'm definitely picking Roman Reigns. Sorry, yeah. Drew. Yeah, Caitlin. same on. Oh. oh, me? Yeah. Whoever. Oh. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns, but I really thought about this one, too, because the, just with everything that's going on with, like, Shane and, like, how he's, like, and Drew McIntyre and all of that, I f- was doubting it for a little bit. But, again, whenever you go against Roman Reigns, you're going against the odds. So yeah, I'm not going to go true. against the odds. <laughs> <laughs> However, there's one thing that... Oh, we're going to see some interference from either Elias or Shay McMahon. Because keep in mind, Drew McIntyre is now part of, like, Shay McMahon's band or whatever. Well, right, that's why I was not entirely convinced of my pick. But it's but. still, at the same time, it's Roman Reigns. If anybody can yeah. overcome a three versus one, it's him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Exactly. So I'm going with Roman Reigns for the win. And okay. who knows? We'll see, but let's move on to the next match. All right, so we have is the, let's see, the next match we have is the steel cage match for the WWE Championship match between Kofi Kingston versus Dolph Ziggler. Well, I don't have too much to say about this match. I feel this may be a continuation. Um, Dolph Ziggler's promo was like, meh, don't care. Um I'm going to go with Kofi Kingston to retain the title. All right, go ahead, Caitlin. Yeah, I agree. Kofi retain. Um, I feel bad because, like, Dolph, he, like, puts so much effort into what he does, but just is, it's not going to be. <laughs> mm-hmm. Aaron? I agree, Kofi. Like, I really think they only brought um, Dolph back for the Super Showdown, and then, you know, they ended up doing a rematch. Um yep. So I definitely think Kofi's going to win. I think somebody will still somehow help Kofi somehow in the cage. That They always do. Like, they act <laughs> like, you can get in the cage, but somebody always gets out with the yeah. cage. What I honestly really hope happens is I hope Lesnar cashes in on Kofi. They're playing it up so bad that he's going to cash in on Rollins. Yeah. I 100% yeah. think he's going to cash in on Kofi because that makes way more sense with Roman supposedly on SmackDown with it going True. to Fox for Roman to beat Lesnar. That That, makes way more sense to me. So I kind of hope Lesnar cashes in. At least it'd be something different and interesting and unexpected. Agree. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, that's like a really good point. But the only thing is like, hmm, I know he'll possibly going to cash in or he's going to cash in the next title, which we'll get into that as a possible main event. All right. So let's move on here to the next match. We have is the the WWE Raw Women's Championship match between the current champ, the man, Becky Lynch, versus the sassy Southern Belle and one of my favorites, Lacey Evans. Well, Becky Lynch is also my favorite, but I digress. Anyway, um, Caitlin, who do you got? Um, I'm saying Becky is going to retain, though I do appreciate uh, Lacey Evans' character. I think she at least is interesting, and it's. I think it's been a pretty good feud, but no. Yeah, <laughs> Becky retains. Yeah, Aaron. Um, I also picked Becky. I just don't see the title coming off Becky yet. Um, Becky is cooling down, but I just don't think it's Lacey's time yet. I just don't think she quite has enough experience. Um, yeah. I also wouldn't be surprised if I'm wrong and Lacey wins. So, but <laughs> well, I'm picking right. Becky. <laughs> Yep. Well, this feud was a hit and miss. I feel bad for Lacey Evans because she's been having so many bad matches lately. I do respect her. I love her gimmick. I admire her. But some of the matches she has, it's like so bad. I just miss how she was so good in NXT. And now she's on the main roster so bad. And I'm not a huge fan of her finisher, the women's right. Like, are you freaking serious? It's like, I don't like it, it either. It's like, it's like the it's women's punch. first big show's yeah. knockout punch. Yeah. It's like, 
lord i like the name of it i think the name is really clever mm-hmm. but i yeah like she, no it, like that one like moonsault she does is like way cooler than yes. a freaking punch of the face that literally like anybody could do agree right yeah with that being said i'm going with becky to retain the title and that's it and now we're going to move on to the main event of the match, which is for the Universal Championship match between the current champ, Seth Rollins, versus uh, Greg, Cherry's, <laughs> Greg Cherry's favorite wrestler, Baron Corbin. I'm going to say something really special- nice about Corbin real quick. His okay. Sure, end of days. It is yeah. spectacular. I can watch it mm-hmm. all the time. And I love Deep Six too. He performs like two of like the coolest moves ever, I think. I just wish like the rest of him wasn't so boring because like exactly. yeah. those moves are awesome and I love them. But the rest of him is just like a snooze fest. True. Everything about him since his <laughs> freaking interim GM roles. Like I agree. Um, like I liked him before he like cut his hair. Yeah, he cut his hair and became boring. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Put on the vest. Yeah, right. <laughs> the corporate bull- True. Yes. Yeah, it's crap. It, yeah, it's whatever. I just don't care about Baron Corbin nor this match altogether. However, um, so we all did watch the guys's um, prediction video, and Aaron Riff suggested uh, we get we each get two picks of who's going to be the special guest referee so Aaron who is your pick and who's your two picks for the referee okay so I think Rollins is gonna win um Rollins has looked really strong lately he's been mm-hmm. looked really strong with like that steel chair just beating everybody down and Corbin's boring so I don't mm-hmm. think it really makes sense to put the belt on him I think it's way more interesting to tease like Rollins versus Lesnar than Lesnar versus Corbin like that's very like Eh. And I don't think really anybody's about that. So I'm definitely going to pick Rollins. And for my two picks, the first pick I did was Shane McMahon. Because Mm. he kind of got involved a little bit last night. Because, you know, I don't remember if it was Corbett or not last night, but uh, Monday night. Or maybe it was Tuesday night. I don't remember. It all blends together. Um, uh, They went up to him. Sammy and uh, Kevin were like, hey, Rollins sucks. Blah, blah, blah. You should punish him. My second pick, this is out there but I tweeted about this so if you follow me on Twitter my second pick is Edge because the whole Becky and Beth and Edge thing and Rollins got brought into it so how interesting would that be if Edge was the special guest with that whole Twitter feud Mm. might be crazy but it would be I would enjoy it so that's my pick I like it I like your picks well I have a crazy um, special guest referee pick as Love well. Love but I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, I'm going to go ahead with the match. So I'm going to go ahead with Seth Rollins to retain a title. I agree with you, Aaron. He is booking up so strong, and he's been attacking everyone with a steel chair. I mean, I think this is going to be one of the matches that I'm kind of looking forward to is because of Seth Rollins, and I don't care about Baron Corbin, like I said before. Um, regarding the special guest referee, my two picks. My first pick I'm going to have to go with the audience because I feel like he is definitely going to be like the dictator of both Raw and SmackDown. And like regarding with so many feuds he has, I feel that he's probably going to be the one going to be causing Seth Rollins the match, but not really. But I know he is aligned with Baron Corbett as part of his quote unquote entourage type of deal. So my first pick is um, Shane McMahon. My second pick, um, I'm going to be going out of a whim, and I was thinking about it long and hard. Well, even though he is the advocate, I'd rather Ooh. see him as referee. So That my, would be interesting. Yep. Paul Heyman. As I love it. Referee. Even though if Brock Lesnar is not going to be at the pay-per-view, why not Paul Heyman? And who knows? We may see like a surprise appearance from Brock Lesnar with his boombox um, briefcase. <laughs> I mean, anything could go wrong. Why? I so, love that. If yeah. If Brock walked out, I'd be all about that. There you go. I so, love it. Right, so Shane McMahon and Paul Heyman. 
Caitlin, who do you got? Um, well, first of all, Seth to retain. And then mm. listening to something the guy said, I just thought it was funny. So I'm going to go with my first pick to be Brock. <laughs> I just think that would be funny if he did have, like, the boombox out there and he's, like, doing whatever during the match. Just the whole match? <laughs> yeah. Well, not, not the whole match, but just to kind of, like, be, like, Oh, he's got to do the whole up. match. Come on. Okay. <laughs> the whole match, unless somebody goes down for the pin, then he drops. Yeah. Um, he's going to have a day with that gif. <laughs> How much would they have to pay Brock Lesnar to wrap to do that? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. But um, second time I've changed a pick ever during a video <laughs> is going to be for my second pick um, of the the refs, and that's going to be Shane McMahon for the reasons <laughs> that you said, Cindy. Who was um, your Who was your pick beforehand? Just out of curiosity. I just had Strowman written down, but there was oh. no reasoning. I just mm-hmm. I didn't even know who to pick. One of the I guys said Becky, AJ. and I was thinking that that would have been good too. But I'm like Becky didn't make sense at all to me. Yeah. So um, I was trying to go through like what other people had been saying and see if anything made sense, and nothing really does to me. So I just kind of went with what would be funny except Shane he's got his hands in everything so I could see that mm-hmm. being unfortunately being My a possibility enough Shane yeah. man so that's that I know I mean I feel that we're gonna see a lot of like interference going on with Shane McMahon and like with his high ego going on and even though one of this storyline may be going to be leading up to not just extreme rules because this is a another paper you don't care about but <laughs> SummerSlam in Toronto so, I agree. Yeah. So with that being said of it, that is it for the predictions video for Stopping Ground. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below your picks, your thoughts, and everything. Like this video, share, hit that notification as well. And yeah, so anyway, before we go, we're just going to go with our plugs. So Aaron, your plugs. All right. You can find my Twitter at uh, nodtq.com slash Aaron. That's my only plug. You guys can get these cool pens, too. No oh, yeah. That's right. Okay. Way to rep. And Caitlin? Uh, yep, no DQ.com slash Caitlin will take you to my Twitter, and that's all I've got for you. Oh, I also have a pen. Nice. They're pretty sweet, guys. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah, my ODQ pen is in my purse and my backpack. I forgot to bust it up. I use my Where tablet. Where do you get them, Caitlin? I don't know. Is it on? Um, what? How do they get the pens? Um, Ask Aaron. You have to uh, at him on Twitter. Okay. And he will let you know what to do. There we go. <laughs> or email <laughs> at nodqmisc. That's true. M-I-S-C at, nodqmisc at gmail.com. Now, for my plug and the rest of the nodq.com plug, so you guys can follow me at nodq.com forward slash Cindy. That's going to take you directly to my Twitter page where I vent about wrestling and anything in particular. Um, also, I'm mostly on Instagram, y'all. So make sure to follow me at simply underscore C underscore OK on Instagram where I post the photo arts of landscape, nature, Funko Pops and wrestling as well. And if you go to my page and you'll see the Instagram story highlight of past shows I've gone to from independent wrestling and WWE where I recently went to the independent wrestling show and last week on SmackDown Live and 205 Live as well. And also you guys, I'm mostly active on my Instagram story where I'm still currently on a, you know, a friendly winning bet that now I'm finally accepted, which is, I have to wear the Toronto Raptors color for 30 plus day, which I am wearing it still. But hey, at least the NoDQ.com logo is red and black and <laughs> everything. So yeah, follow through this for that as well. And also, do not forget, go to NoDQ.com forward slash shirts. That will take you directly to the Pro Wrestling Tea Store where you can find everybody's NoDQ.com t-shirt, like from the ladies on NoDQ.com my shirts and everybody else and a heads up there is going to be a new t-shirt that's going to be on its way very soon just in time for the fourth of july day sale so hopefully maybe aaron maybe caitlin may get their own shirts oh, or oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe make it happen maybe, <laughs> Tell maybe, <them>. maybe, <laughs> maybe the, TVQ, the 205 lives or updated shirts from one of our your favorite no dq personalities 
as well. And also go to Spotify, type in, in hashtag Team No DQ, where you can find the list of all of our favorite songs with different genre as well. And yeah, and do not forget, stay tuned for all the news regarding WWE, AEW, and all wrestling related news only on NoDQ.com. Anyway, y'all, for the ladies of NoDQ.com, Aaron with an E, not an A, yes. Caitlin, and your girl Cindy G. And hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Cheers, y'all. P.S. Meet and Aaron. I'm coming for your title. <laughs>